What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to solve this trigonometric equation. The equation I have in this video is 2 cosine squared theta plus 3 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. And we need to have theta between 0 and 2 pi. First thing I need to solve this uh, quadratic equation by, let's say, uh, uh, factoring this quadratic equation because that's the easiest for this kind of equations. So I'm going to use AC method. AC method is saying that A times C, 2 times 1 is 2. And here we have 3. We are looking for two numbers, multiply to 2 and add to 3. Which means that these two numbers are positive 2 and positive 1. So then I will have here 2 cosine squared theta plus instead of 3 cosine, I put 2 cosine theta plus 1 cosine theta plus 1 equals to zero then i factor each group here the first two terms and the last two terms the first two terms the gcf for these two terms is two cosine theta and two cosine squared divided by two cosine is going to be just cosine two cosine divided by two cosine is going to be one and here i have cosine theta plus one equals to zero then i factor cosine theta plus 1 and this one it will be 2 cosine theta plus 1 which is the coefficient of this bracket you don't see that it's plus it means that is plus 1 equals to 0 then, uh, then we have two expressions multiplied to each other is 0 it means that either the first expression must be 0 or the second expression must be 0 you know 0 times any expression is 0 so net Let's solve cosine for each of these expression. Cosine theta is plus one is zero. It means that cosine theta is negative one. Here, two cosine theta plus one is zero. It means that when you move it here, it becomes negative one divided by two is gonna be negative half. Cosine theta equals to negative one. It means that theta will be equals to pi because cosine pi is negative one here cosine theta is negative one over two since it's negative it means that the theta must be in quadrant two and also quadrant three that will be pi minus theta here we have pi plus theta it means that we need to find theta first. So theta is some something quadrant one, which is one over two, cosine theta equals to one over two. It means that theta is pi over three because cosine pi over three is one over two. So the answer is gonna be pi minus pi over three and pi plus pi over three. Why? Because cosine has to be negative one over two, not positive, negative one over two. So pi minus pi over 3 is 2 pi over 3. Pi plus pi over 3 is 4 pi over 3. So we have three answers. 2 pi over 3, pi, and 4 pi over 3. These are the three answers to this question. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave some more related videos and playlists in the description. If you need more help or need more practice questions you can take a look to the description part if you have any question just leave me a comment and i get back to you as soon as possible if you found this video useful please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel you have access to many videos regarding math and science thank you for watching and have a great day